final approach begins at the rollout point from the final turn, approximately one half mile from the approach end of the runway, 250 to 350 feet above the ground. At the rollout point, place the runway numbers in the center of your windscreen. Project an imaginary wire from the center of your windscreen to the numbers at the end of the runway. You'll fly the final approach by remaining on this wire. During the final approach, you will rapidly cross-check three items, aim point, airspeed, and center line. For the aim point, keep the numbers in the center of your windscreen using forward and back stick pressure. This keeps you on the wire. For airspeed, use the throttle to fly no slower than 75 knots, striving for 75 to 80 knots. Normal power setting for final approach is 10 to 20%. If you're slow, increase power. If you're fast, decrease power. For center line, project the white center line stripe extending to your aircraft, aligned between your legs to ensure you land in the middle of the runway. As you descend down final, continue your cross check and repeat aim point, airspeed, center line out loud, looking at each reference as you say it. As the runway begins passing under the nose of the aircraft, Take the following three steps. One, pull the throttle to idle. Two, round out by simultaneously shifting your eyes to the departure end of the runway and gently pulling back on the stick to level off approximately three to five feet above the runway. Three, flare by holding the plane off the runway as long as possible. A memory aid for these actions is power off, level off, hold off. Power off by pulling the power to idle. Level off by shifting your eyes to the horizon and gradually pulling back on the stick until you see the half ground, half sky, level flight sight picture. Hold off. As you slow, you'll notice the horizon rising in your peripheral vision as your plane settles towards the ground. As the plane settles, lightly pull the stick back to stop the descent. Pause and wait for the next settle towards the ground. With each settle, you'll lightly pull back to hold the plane off the ground. This is a very light pull on the stick. It may be only a matter of a second or two before the next settle. Finally, as you near stall speed, the main wheels will lightly touch down. Slightly release back stick pressure to let the nose wheel settle to the ground. The next video will discuss contingencies on final.